Hello friends, here in this video, we will see how to calculate power required. Let's read what is the question given here. A flat plate of area 1.5 into 10 raised to 6 mm square is pulled with a speed of 0.4 meter per second relative to another plate located at a distance of 0.15 mm from it. Full stop. Find the force and power required to maintain this speed if the fluid separating them is having viscosity as one poise. So this is the question we have. I'll write the data here. A flat plate of area capital A is equal to 1.5 into 10 raised to 6. Now it is in terms of mm square. So I'll multiply it by 10 raised to minus 6 to get my answer in terms of meter square. So this will be 1.5 meter square. Because this 10 raised to 6, 10 raised to minus 6 will get cancelled out. So I have converted mm square area into meter square. Is pulled with a speed of velocity is given. This is nothing but change in velocity u. Because only one velocity is given that is 0 0.4 meter per second. Relative to another plate located at a distance of 0 0.15 mm from it. This is nothing but dy. It is 0 0.15 mm or it is 0.15 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. So here we are having two plates. The distance between them is given. It is 0.15 mm. And between these two plates, the fluid is flowing. The fluid is flowing here and we have to find the force and power required that is how much is the force required so that the fluid will flow and how much is the power required so that the fluid flows. Viscosity is one poise. One poise is given. Poise is the unit of dynamic viscosity. So mu here I have mu is equal to one poise. And one poise we know it is 1 divided by 10 Newton second per meter square. Newton second, it is Newton second per meter. So now, it is Newton second per meter square. Now, here we have to first find out the force required for the fluid to flow. So for that, I will first of all try to get shear stress. Because since stress is equal to force upon area, area I have, force is what I have to calculate. So once I am able to get the value of shear stress, half of the problem would be over. So now I will start this problem by solution. Since shear stress is given by shear stress, it is given by the relation from Newton's law of viscosity tau is equal to mu into du by dy this relation we can highlight so here i'll say this relation it is from newton's law of viscosity so therefore shear stress will be equal to mu the value is given in the question it is it was one poise and one poise is 1 by 10 newton second per meter square so it is 1 by 10 into du the change in velocity we have only single velocity value i'll take it that is 0 0.4 divided by dy dy is 0 0.15 into 10 raised to minus 3 So from this I will get shear stress value and that comes out to be 266.67 Newton per meter square. Now once we have shear stress we can easily get the value of force. So I will say that also 
shear stress will be equal to force upon area so therefore force is equal to shear stress into area and finally this is equal to shear stress 266.67 into area that is 1.5 meter square so from this i will be getting the answer of force it comes out to be 400 newton this is my first answer now they are also saying in this problem since the problem is to determine the power required we have found out the force now we have to get the value of power i will give a special relation of power that since power required is given by power p is equal to it is force into velocity so here i have the relation of power force multiplied by velocity so therefore p is equal to force is 400 into the velocity is 0 0.4 so from this i will be getting the answer of power that is 160 and since force is in terms of newton velocity is in terms of meter per second so newton meter is joule and joule per second is watts so the unit of power is watts this is my second answer so if we look at this question there were two things asked the force required for the fluid to flow and that force is 400 newton and the next part was power required and the answer of power required is 160 watts with this we can easily say that we have found out the power and completed the problem